Hey everyone and welcome back for another Let's Play stream. My name is Alex, one of your community managers here at SCS Software. Welcome back for episode 16 of our Your Truck Simulator 2 Let's Play series. Hope you've all been doing well. Joining me live from the studio in Prague, we also have Peter back behind the wheel again. Peter, it's great to have you. How are you doing? Hi, good to be back. I'm doing pretty good. What about you, Alex? Good, yeah, the, weather, the weather's been nice here. It's been a bit sunnier. Spring is in the air for sure. And um, yeah, excited to get back on the road with you because the last episode, if you weren't here for the last one, we made some pretty dang good progress. So I say, you know, we you know, we as a collective, me, Ida, and chat as well, we ended up doing three deliveries last time, which I think it was a let's play first, right, Ida? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, <laughs> I hope so. I think, I think so. I think so, so... Maybe we've got to try hit four at some point as well. But this is where we ended up. We ended up um, outside one of the Renault dealerships in Toulouse, right? Yeah, yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. We uh, we leveled up. We got ourselves a new skill point. And um, yeah, we came to check out here what's behind the blue veil. And this is where we kind of left off from our last journey. Um, if you haven't read about this, by the way, this is um, a little thing that we're doing with Renault trucks. If you haven't read about it already on our blog about the good truck, um, you can check out the whole blog at blog.scsoft.com. But if you've seen this truck underneath the blue veil here, at one of the Renault dealerships in game, a Euro Truck Simulator 2, um, make sure you get a picture with it, which many of you have already been doing on our social media. And use the hashtag eTechTrucking because if you tag us and Renault Trucks, then you could uh, receive some exclusive gifts from both Renault Trucks and us. So definitely do that and of course there's going to be uh, more exciting news to come out of that little collaboration uh, with Renault Trucks on April 9th when we head to Lyon for um, the, the grand reveal event which is going to be very very exciting indeed so we thought we'll get that in right at the start just to remind you if you haven't done that already you know taking a picture is free you get entered uh, into this little gift uh, giveaway and um, you could you going home with some gifts, which is always a win. But uh, let's check out from where we left last time. Peter, give us a little kind of roundup of, of where we left off. Yeah, sure. So last time we did three deliveries, as you said. Mm -hmm. uh, although they were not that, uh, like, the, the pay wasn't that good, but we wanted to get the to to, to, do to show the truck, you know. So we <laughs> so we, need, we needed to adjust the deliveries to that. And we mm -hmm. reached a new level. So I wanted to take a look at the upgrades we have avail available here. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Let's check that out. I know we're aiming for one of the larger cabs. That is yes. what our kind of big upgrade is. And that's at level 12, I believe it was. But a level 10 does give you a decent amount of unlocks here when you lot, reach level lot, 10. A lot of things. Hmm. Lots of different, different accessories. Side skirts here. We've got fuel tanks, chassis. All sorts, all sorts of different trucks. So as you level up in the game, you unlock more upgrades for your truck and uh, in turn as well. Things like better drivers, you get better perks for different things as well, including your skill points. So uh, yeah, it's definitely worth making your way up the ranks. Um, yeah. That's for sure. Um, and speaking of drivers, we've also got a few drivers hired ourselves as well. We got the world famous Bob and Naomi. How are they all doing? Yeah, they're doing pretty well, I I would say. Uh, well, as you can see, at least the, well, maybe you can because Alex is blocking blocking it. <laughs> right, my mask head is in the way again. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> but the but the euros made per day uh in increased with both up Bob, Bob and Naomi. So, yeah, so they That's are good. doing pretty good, I would say. They made that some money last good. time, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And I think Naomi did as well. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Looks like they're going between the same sort of cities. It's just like Linster, Innsbruck, Linster, Innsbruck, <laughs> Linster, Innsbruck, Linster, Klagenfurt. Yeah. Linster, Innsbruck, again, yeah, just <laughs> nonstop. But if the job's there, if the money's there, then no complaining, right, chat? No complaining. Yeah, but both of them make like 3,000 euros per day. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, we have the loan, which is almost 6,000. So they pay the loan for us. Basically, yeah, which yeah. is uh, always very, very handy indeed. So we got that loan that's still outstanding. We got, uh, well, 70 days in total to pay that back. And, yeah. Um, so far left at repay, we have 3,331 euros, which is 
quite a big amount, but the more jobs we get done and the more skill points we invest, the better paid jobs, hopefully, on the job market, uh, which, speaking of, we should take a look at. But also, I know we need to put our driver to sleep at some point as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. Uh, and then uh, I was thinking maybe we can take a look at some upgrades for the truck. I know we still haven't reached the level 12 that we need for the biggest yes. cap, but... It's true. <laughs> when I when I saw how many upgrades we can get, I think we we should take a look at it at least. Yeah. And do have a look and see see what's on the truck and see what we can get. But let's get a little bit of rest here and let's fill you in really quickly, chat as well. If you're new here, I see quite a few first time chatters. Welcome along, everybody. Thanks for being here. Uh, our Let's Play series is where we stream this live and we've started this profile completely from scratch, basically. And we're kind of going from a our aim is to kind of become the biggest and the best trucking company around so we're playing the game kind of the, from the perspective of a new player fines included you know and we're doing everything by the book um we're definitely not avoiding detours or anything like that right peter and um we're, we're you know we're, we're playing we're playing very legit very very legit uh in quotation yeah. marks so of course. um but uh yeah we're, we're up to level 10 now so we hit those double digits and of course chat you have a part to play in this as well um believe it or not you are part of the company here that we have our virtual logistics company uh you get to help us decide where we should be going make some important decisions and uh we hope those are all good decisions you're making and you're definitely not sabotaging us right chat definitely no sabotaging or funny memes things happening in the chat no none none at all none at all so um yeah you're also all included so um we also do a bit of channel points messing around on here and we do a bit of uh i wouldn't call it gambling but there's a chance to win more channel points if you want that and we have a bit of fun and uh, we also ask some polls as well but great to see all of you in the chat thanks for coming along we, we appreciate you so let's take a look at some of these upgrades that we have on offer what what is there at the moment peter well we can get a new engine and uh, a new transmission as well very nice i mean both very expensive parts of the truck though right yeah but uh, I don't know. We we get some money back for the old engine, right? I believe so. Yeah. 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 That minus five thousand. Six thousand. Yeah. So we have an engine and transmission upgrade available. What else would you be looking at upgrading potentially? Well, I don't know. I I I don't think we wanted to upgrade too many things on the truck because uh, mm. we wanted to do that when we had have the new cabin right the, the biggest one right. but we can go for the engine i don't know maybe we can let the let chat decide if we want yeah, the new engine that. and and the new transmission maybe do we, do we need both of those things or would you recommend just an engine upgrade or just a transmission upgrade what do you think chat what what do you think would work best in this situation of course we're, we're thinking money consciously but at the same time having these upgrades will significantly help us on the road you know, we can get to places faster, more efficiency for our truck as well. Um, so what, what are we thinking, chat? Should we, we, should we upgrade both of those parts? Uh, we get 30 more horsepower, um, but it is a, a lower RPM there as well. And then on the transmission as well. It's better to wait until the next level. What, level 12, do you think, like Pyro? What are we thinking? Better to wait till the next level. Yeah, 12 is good. Okay, so people are saying you should wait till level 12, which is also where we get the new cab, right? That's yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess it'll be a, a bigger of a jump, right? When you get to level 12. So basically, I think what the chat is saying is we're going to do a bit more grinding at this point. Okay. Essentially. Level 12, go for, go for level 12. Okay, okay. We so here. We won't do any changes. No changes for now, unfortunately. I know we would have loved to you know, grab some things, but... Chad are saying it's for the best, just to, uh, to hold on just that little bit longer. We're not, we're not going to be too far away. It shouldn't take too long for us to get to level 12 uh, with the, the speed and efficiency that Peter's getting these jobs done. Yeah. Which is cool. yeah. I will sleep again. <laughs> just okay. So it's it's the day, yeah. Yeah, that's that's more beneficial to you than it is actually the game itself. Yeah, yeah I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't know if you saw that, but before Naomi made some money now she made some money again and bob made four thousand right now Ooh, bob okay <laughs> yeah coming up he's cooking let him cook chat bob is working away now he's, he's getting some experience in he is making some money all right well let's look at 
what's on offer. We're in Toulouse in France, in southern France. And let's see what we have uh, in terms of the most kind of highest paid jobs. Yeah, that's probably but, this one. We've got cattle heading to the middle of France. But you do have to keep in mind um, there's tolls along the way as well, which we'll be paying, of course. Yeah, that's, that's true. Also, that's I can true. check these offers as well. Yeah, the, they they are not well paying so good. They're not paying so good. I got gotcha. you. Bob is making bank. I agree. I agree. I see. There's a job there to Spain as well. To Tar Tarragona. Isn't that where we we uh, kind of went to last time? Tarragona. Uh, with the cars. Uh, I I don't know. Oh, uh, I think we went to Zaragoza last time, and then Bayonne, and then Toulouse. I think. Okay. okay. So this Maybe, will take yeah. us up to more northern Europe. So you could then from there potentially go like across to Switzerland or up into like Germany or or places like that. So it does open up a few avenues here. So, yeah. Yeah. I think it could be a good job. Yeah, why not? You know, it's it. it's paying good and that's the most important thing I would say. That is the most important part. You're right. You are right. So we're going to head on that way. So we've got some cattle that needs transporting. And uh, we'll head up to the middle of France. And then we'll see how we go from there. But in the meantime, chat, how are we doing? How has your week been? We hope you've had a, a, a good week so far. And looking forward to, um, for those who observe it or celebrate it, um, Easter weekend uh, this week. Um, I'm taking a little bit of vacation from Thursday for a week. So... Uh, I won't be around um, for the future days, but uh, yeah, I hope I hope you all have some plans maybe in mind, or maybe doing some Easter egg hunting. I'm I miss doing that as a kid, hiding eggs around the garden and just trying to find them, and you get some sweets as a reward. That was that was a good thing. Week's been good so far. You might buy a car this weekend. Wow. Okay. Nice. What are we talking Ferraris, Lamborghini, uh, Rolls Royce, Bentley. Well, what are we thinking? You got lots of runs done today. Very cool. A B and W. Very nice. My girlfriend would be proud. She's from Germany, so <laughs> very, very nice. I wish I was buying a car this weekend. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that, that that would be a fun thing to do. <laughs> it would be, yeah, just like, I'm just going to go buy a car this weekend. <laughs> I got you. Um, also, a bit of ETS2 news. If you haven't seen it already, our latest blog that came out today. Um, very, very exciting news, isn't it, Peter? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's, something, it's a, a blog that actually uh, you wrote yourself. Yeah, yeah. Maybe about a Google Trailers. Yeah. Google Trailers. Our friends over at Google Trailers. Very, very exciting. Uh, of course, we've done some on-the-road episodes with them already, uh, but we're excited to show off some of the progress uh, that is coming uh, from an upcoming DLC for ETS2. And uh, yeah, very excited to get that brand into the game. The trailers are looking very nice. Uh, of course, um, a very reputable brand being integrated into ETS2. So uh, if you haven't checked that out already, blog.scsoft.com is where you can find all of our official news. Uh, of course, we've had a bit of American truck news there as well, if that interests you, about Nebraska. Um, and also before that, uh, about the Scania Demo Center, which is also another very exciting bit of news as well. Uh, that's going to be a part of the um, 1.50 update, which I know a lot of you are speculating about and talking about across our community, across our forums. Um, so happy to kind of get a bit more news about what's coming in that update to all of you and that's a really cool facility i gotta admit um saw the uh screenshots from the blog um and it's the detail is fantastic that the mappers are put into to recreating that area um it looks like a, a lot of fun to go explore and check out and kind of give your truck a good run through the area to make sure it's all working and, and doing okay um so definitely uh, have to check that out it's located within the scandinavia dlc is that, i think that's correct i believe yeah, uh, yeah, because of its location. Yeah, it's so, it's, uh, it's true. Yeah, so definitely um, check out the screenshots for that if you haven't already on our blog as well. So very exciting indeed for 
a bit of ETS2 news and of course we'll have more in the near future as well you definitely follow us on our social media uh, if you haven't already Twitter Instagram um, TikTok I think we're on threads on Instagram we have Instagram as well Facebook of course we have a dedicated page to your truck simulator 2 as well as the SCS software page but we're all over the place you know, we're, it's almost like we're famous or something you know you can find us everywhere so <laughs> definitely stay up to date with the latest news there um, I saw it it was very cool it is indeed it is 8 ball will we have 5 or more tickets today oh that's right Peter Peter was driving with uh, oh my goodness with what's, what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> enthusiasm last time he was <laughs> very excited to be driving um, and managed to rack up 5 fines which yeah, then flexed and said, "No, we can afford it. It's fine." So um, you know, we we had we had free deliveries. I, I needed to be fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Avo says, "Wow, Peter's a bit of a racing pilot. He's definitely he's definitely come a long way. His driving style since uh, he first came on the streams. Uh, definitely gotten a bit more confident in driving." Which uh, I know Mark in the chat may have something to say about. I'm not too sure. Maybe he's proud. Maybe he's a little bit disappointed. I can't tell. <laughs> but uh, either way, he gets the job done. I mean, that's the main thing, right? Yeah, and I didn't yeah. damage the 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 stuff, right? <laughs> the cargo. I mean, you're right. Yeah, you're true. But um, yeah, the speed, the speed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the difference is huge. Yeah, I agreed. <laughs> Peter, you're sliding. Or speed. We need to rename him Lightning McQueen or something. Give him a nickname. <laughs> Uh, ah, it's it, it's fun to go a little bit faster when you can, especially without without a trailer. I mean, you'd like traveling on the autobahn in Germany, then, right? When it's uh, you can put your pedal uh, put your uh, pedal down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's definitely working overdrive in the last stream. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But uh, this stream, hopefully, a bit more chilled out. Hopefully, a little bit more less. Uh, Stressful to get the three jobs done to, to reach our destination, which we had in mind. So um, yeah, we got a bit more of a extended time this time. So good stuff. Well, while we got our job now, we've now got a bit of a drive ahead of us through France. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's gonna be good. Kind of heading up to north. I, th I think it's been a while since we're last kind of in the area that we're heading to, not up in northern Europe. Like, uh, middle of France and then the option to go up to the Netherlands and stuff like that. Do you have like something in your mind for the future Peter? Maybe where you would want to head to next after traveling through France? Well I wanted to go to Barcelona or Marseille because uh, <laughs> yeah, we could... Going the <laughs> wrong way my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well uh, before the stream uh, I, I, I took a look uh, briefly at the job offers and there was one to Barcelona but after we, we mm. slept I guess it wasn't available anymore. Uh, because yeah. we 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 could make some serious money doing that uh, ferry ferry jobs, you know. <laughs> oh my god! He's going for the overtake on a solid. <laughs> what is this? Well, it's what not a wall, right? <laughs> it's not a wall, but it's a solid line. Oh my goodness! He is he is speeding to get to get to places, chat. <laughs> <laughs> He's eager to make this money. <laughs> yeah, I, we have we have a lot of. A lot of money to pay back to the bank. We do, we do. But I, th I think you know our drivers have got it covered. I think, I think we should be okay. We shouldn't. We shouldn't yeah. Be too bad. Unacceptable. Hey, no passing on the solid white line. You tell him, chat. You tell him. He's. <laughs> he's, he's doing. It. It's racing day with Peter. I think he's been watching the Formula One on the, on the weekend. I think. <laughs> he's inspired by some of the drivers there. So. Um, Got a long way to go in a short time to get there. Yep. But eastbound and down. And Smokey and the Bandit, that's for sure. <laughs> well, we also need money for the for the bigger bigger cap. It's gonna be expensive, yeah, how right? Should, how much did that cost? I that think like... the 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 middle middle ones the middle one costs like thirty nine thousand or something like that. Thirty nine thousand. That's yeah. like what? Good chunk of our money right now. That's yeah, and and the the, out. the biggest one's gonna be, I guess, even more expensive. Hmm. 
So we am. Shoot. So we kind of got to prepare for that, basically. Yeah, so but I, I think we, we still have two, two levels to go. And I think we do. it's going to take, like, what, like five del deliveries, maybe even more. Five, six mm. deliveries. So, yeah. We'll get there. I think we'll have quite a bit more money in the bank by the time we reach that point. So, yeah. um... Hopefully. Yeah, I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. Well, chat, hit billionaires in the chat in terms of ETS2. Um, if anyone is playing the game legitimately like we are right now, then definitely let us know where you're at. Any of you are, are working to, to reach a goal. Real Vic got Thomas. I got 400 mil at the moment. Nice. Not nice amount of money. Um, I have 206,000 euros. I have 1 million. 400 mil, 141 mil in ECS2. Well, I guess when you've been playing for a long time, if a, if, if a lot of you have been playing since the start, right? Um, since like the game's release, or maybe even just a few years, it's uh, what are you? 1,067 million, 300k. That's crazy. 2.3 billion. Wow. We've got Trike Tyler here with minus 350,000. <laughs> what happened? Wait. <laughs> Is that possible? Can we go that far into the minus? Minus 350,000? Or is that a typo? Maybe that's a typo. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I have now, I think, 300,000 euros and four or five drivers. That is a respectable amount, my pyro. That's a good amount. You have loans? Uh-oh. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you can't keep up with your loans. It gets a bit, a bit dangerous. You, you go into this spiral. You can go into the minus very fast, says Artin. Yeah. Oh, what agree. happen happens then? You, they just take your truck away, and you have to do the, the game on itself. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine just repos the entire game? Yeah, you're too much in debt. You can't play anymore. <laughs> Took your license away. <laughs> uh, they repoed your truck. Dang. Yeah. So you can now do just the the jobs with, without your truck. So this has just given more reason to Peter to, to, to speed and get these jobs done. He's like, I don't want to be in that position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to do that, man. Wow. I don't do loads in game. See, this is the thing. This is this is where Nimiro, when he was behind the wheel of the, um, you know, the Let's Play series, he was uh, on American Truck and he played honest and good. He was like, you know, I want to work half my money. I don't want to take out loans and have to owe the loan sharks and any anything you know want to be debt free sort of thing in that case but um yeah it's it's really like it can be very helpful if used correctly and you have a plan to, to pay it back in a good amount of time so um yeah the game gets angry when you don't pay the loans yeah I bet I bet yeah I think I think it's a good idea not to not to take the loans because you can just you know play it slow. You don't you don't true. need the truck right away. No, that's true. It is true. You can just take the, the quick jobs and go from there. Yeah, you know, there's plenty of jobs, and they cover the damage. They cover any fuel. It's kind of a, a nice nice thing. But of course, there's nothing stopping you from taking those kind of jobs, even when you do have your own company, right? Like if you have drivers and everything you can still do quick jobs yourself you know? so yeah but after that it doesn't really make too much sense you know because you no. earn more money with your truck that's true that is true you have 7.2 million euros and 98 drivers baller dang somebody's making the money that's a that's a good company right now there's good money that you're making Yeah, can you imagine if... <laughs> that's a funny idea, actually, that you're talking about there. If it was possible for players to, like, loan each other money. I think the economy would be absolutely wrecked if we did that. <laughs> <laughs> if that was ever an option, I think that the economy would be absolutely ruined. <laughs> yeah. But, um, no, but some people have some really good money tips, though. Uh, in terms of when you're, like, wanting to save money here and there or make good money. Then, um... Yeah, some people have got some really, really good tips and tricks I've seen online, and, and that we've even learned here on the chat. 
when we're like buying a first truck for the first time, you can still take some of the stock items off of it, and your first truck is a little bit cheaper, which is which is good. So, my save is very new since I started over. Hey, us too. That's what we're doing right now. That's the that's the point of this let's play. We're we're we're, we're brand new. <laughs> Want to save money? Don't hire Alex. I mean, it's written. It's just law at this point, isn't it? Don't hire me. It's a, it's a scam. <laughs> it's a, We're all ex. <laughs> so, so, such, such a good employee. <laughs> I've only paid ATS so far. Why aren't you driving on the left side of the road? We're not in the UK, unfortunately. Um, we're in the... Uh, we're in Europe where they drive on the right-hand side of the road. Which I find weird because... You know, I drive a car with the steering wheel on the right-hand side of the, the truck or the vehicle even, and um, this would normally be the passenger seat, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of times I've gotten into, like, a, a European car, an American car, like, hired car and gone into the wrong seat, too many times. Too many but times. I think uh, most of the countries drove on the left side, right? Uh, Mm -hmm. And then it changed in, in in the 20th century. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Like, I think in Sweden, yeah. they drove on the left side until the 60s. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if, it, if it's better to drive on the right side or why did they I'm change it? I'm not sure the reasons. Yeah. Did it all happen at the same time as well? Was it just kind of gradually or...? Dave said this is apparently fact history written right here from Dave because the right side is best is what Dave says <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> there we go that's that's the whole reason you know some some guys Dave said it and then all the countries followed sweet all the countries followed sweet by the way just want to put a message out YouTube chat we appreciate you but can we just chill out with the spam a little bit um, I see your messages you only need to type them once but Chill out on the spam. We appreciate you, though. You're doing fine for me as a driver, says Christine. Thank you. I hope, I hope I'm making somebody some money. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're doing that. Has anybody got Mark as a driver, by the way? In, in, is Mark a driver? Is Mark a driver? I hope Mark's a driver. Yeah, I think he is. Does anybody have Mark a driver? If so, is he also making money? He should be making money. He is? Let's go. Is Mark a good driver? What's behind me? Is it a church? It's actually, uh, yeah, it's a cathedral. It's the Cologne Cathedral, because I'm currently in, in Germany. I'm seeing life from Germany right now. This isn't my actual view. I'd be a millionaire if it was, um, to have a view like this. This is just a um, magic magic screen behind me. That makes it look, look nice. <laughs> yep, I have all the drivers. Nice. That's a big company you've got then. And actually, out of interest, what is the... Because at the start of the game, when you make a profile, right, you get to name your company. Does everybody remember the name of their company? If so, let us know what you named your virtual trucking companies in ETS2 or maybe even in ATS. Yeah, just... What, what, is, our, what is our company name? Uh, I don't even remember. I think it's best community ever. What a name. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yeah. Look how impossible says your Lancaster haulage in both ETS and ATS. Lucent says logical logistics. That's a that's a cool company name. I like that. Redbird is Redbird's trucking. Very cool. It's a nice name. Logistics. Victor's logistics in real Vic. Mark says my company is called Troutdale Transport. All the trucks have a custom livery, and Troutdale is on the outskirts of Portland, Oregon. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Very nice. Total Disaster LLC? Oh no. <laughs> Doomed to fail from the start. Oh no. I mean, is the company doing well? What, or... does, what does LLC mean? Um, it's a great question. It probably has... It's an abbreviation for something. A limited liability company. Yeah. That's what it is. Um, yeah. According to Google, anyway. Same as LTD. Got it. Got it. 
got it. Arrow is realm transport all the way. Philal says Arrow's realm. Oh, sorry, my blue lions. I was just reading the wrong line there. Oh, losing lots of cash. <laughs> <laughs> is that how she means? Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Very nice. That's some cool ultimate transport. Very close. Aurora Company. Those are some cool names. We've got some creative names in the chat. And it's cool to hear that some of you have also made like some liveries as well to your company. As well. Made your own like little liveries. Yeah. That's nice. Welcome in Air Cruise. Hope you're doing well. Doing doing well. Game Z Trucker, I hope you have a great ride as well whenever you get back on the road. Thanks for joining us in the YouTube chat. Appreciate you. And Bill's channel as well. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, do you still have uh, Squirrel in the virtual driver? I believe so. I remember having him as a driver, a driver selection. I haven't looked, I'll be honest, in a little while, but I believe he is still there. So wait, somebody was saying uh, UK f UK Phil was just talking about how many hours they've got in game, um, and it looks like they have quite a few. One thousand seven hundred sixty-five hours on record, which they're saying comes to about one hundred thirty-five days of playtime. Wow! Wow! That is impressive stuff. Impressive. What country are we in? We are in France. France. We are in France. Eh? You like France? You like yeah. France? Have you you've been to France before, haven't you, Peter? Well, no. I I was just no, driving through through France on on my way That's to right. through England. Have Have you been to France? France? Um, I have been to France quite a few times when I was younger. We used to go camping in France. Um. My parents used to take us camping for the summer holidays over there, in like a holiday camp area. Oh, where, um, where in France? Great question. Uh, I don't really remember the names of the places. <laughs> I think we usually stayed pretty close up north because that's where, like, we crossed with the Channel Tunnel. Mm -hmm. um, I think we went a lot to to Brittany. What was the name of it? Brittany in France, in that kind of area. Um, and I remember once we also drove all the way to Bordeaux um, from the UK, which really gives you a sense of how big France is. Because that was a very long journey. It was a, a very long drive. What has happened to that guy? Oh dear. Yeah, some, some packages. Boxes fell out of the truck. Anyone's expecting a parcel today? You ain't getting it. <laughs> <laughs> not coming. It's not coming. Yeah, so I think it was in Brittany, which is um, it was a nice area because, like, on that side of France was like the we had the coast there, we were like near to the coast, and like the remember the waves are always really good in terms of for like surf surfing and stuff like that. And I used to go like bodyboarding, which was always a lot of fun. But that was that was all when I was younger. Like we, you know, I was still living at home, and uh, you know, kids this, with my brother and my sister. So, uh, but yeah, those are good times. But recently, I haven't, I haven't been to France. Yeah. Um, yeah. The most recent trip to Europe I had was to, well, here to Germany, of course, where I'm at right <laughs> now. And then previous to that was um, in Belgium, which is really nice. Belgium's a beautiful country. Lots of history, which uh, me and my dad have really enjoyed. Uh, that sounds nice. I would like to visit Belgium as well. Yeah, it's really nice. Is really good. I have to maybe organize another little road trip or holiday soon somewhere in Europe. I need to tick off a few more European countries off, off my list. Um, that's for sure. Oh, where would you like to go next? Um, I want to go. I want to go to Norway because I've not been to Norway um, at all. So Norway mm -hmm. would be nice uh, to get to. But I'm, I'm more wanting to go to Norway because I want to go see. Northern Lights, so that I guess that's more of a winter time activity at some point. Is um, it? Well, yeah, because like in the summertime, springtime, it's like the sun is out for yeah. a majority of yeah, the day, if not the day, because of how north, are, right? 
Yeah. So it's like you won't you see the darkness. Um, and I do need to go back to Sweden at some point, so maybe I'll kind of like couple it together, Sweden and, and Norway together, kind of a bit of a Scandinavia trip. Um, yeah, uh, that's, I've never that's been to fun. Italy. Never been Italy? to Italy, so I wouldn't mind going to Italy either at some point as well. Yeah, it'd be nice. And Malta as well, because Malta looks like a nice island. And they drive on the left there, so I'd probably feel pretty comfortable hiring a car. So <laughs> it wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it's a, it's a small island, right? Mm, it is, yeah. I think you can drive around it pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. What about yourself? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, would li I would like to go to Italy but I, uh, as well this summer, but I still don't have nothing planned, so... Uh, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha. Do you have a right hand truck, right hand drive truck in ETS2? I do. I actually feel kind of more comfortable driving a right hand truck all the time in ETS2, just because that's what I'm used to in real life, I guess. But I gotta be honest, driving in Europe in ETS2 was actually really handy for me to when it came to the real thing. Like, kind of gave me a little bit of practice um, beforehand, just to kind of get used to the road network and. And stuff like that. So yeah. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, that make that makes sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, bef before you visit, just the, the the week before, just play a lot of ETS two driving yeah. in Europe <laughs> on the right side. It's actually very handy. It's actually very very handy. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Belgium is indeed nice. It is nice, depending on where you go. Yeah, we did like a little tour around Belgium. Because um, my dad really loves uh, history, especially war history, and uh, obviously that area does have like the history when it comes to it, in terms of different wars and, and such like that. So, yeah. All right. What do you have our destination? That was quick. Dang. Yeah, it's a nice place too. An old it farm. Is. Yeah, an old farm. Something a bit different. I'm just gonna put it in on the side here, next to the barn. Nice and easy. Yeah. It's an easy. Here we go. Boom. Delivery made. Let's see how we did. Let's see how much uh, XP and, and money we made. So, 133 kilometers. Got some XP coming in. Got those bonuses from our skill ranks as well. There we go. About halfway through 10. Not too wow. bad. Not it's going to take us like at least three more deliveries to reach level 11. At the very least. Yeah, at the very least. Yeah. Uh, probably four. So, so that's like what? Maybe even 10 deliveries until level 12. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, quite a few more. To do. Let's take a look at the other jobs. All right, hey, let's we, see. We have, we have some colorful England. trailers here. Hey, yo. Speaking <laughs> of the UK. Speaking of the UK. We got one to Italy as well. That's quite a journey, isn't it? All the way to. Ooh. Back to the ferry. Yeah. You know how much people like ferries. I mean, this is. We got Barcelona there as well. That's a, another long one below it. Which is where you wanted to go originally, right? Ten hours, but it's a pretty long trip. It is a pretty long trip. You're right. <laughs> do you, do, I like the chat. <laughs> it's good. Do you think we can do do this one to Barcelona? Uh, maybe, right? Maybe. How, how long do you think it'll take? Yeah, but this one is paying so good. Hmm. You what dare about? set foot in the UK. Do we have something so, interesting here? No, not really. I'm tempted to, to take this one to Dover. To Dover? Yeah. To Dover. What do we think, chat? What do we think? Do you think we should head to Dover? I don't think we've actually been to the UK at all during this Let's Play. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to input on this because I'm very biased. Um, <laughs> for obvious reasons, I'm very biased. Yes, take the big one. Thirty minutes. Yeah, thirty minutes. Want to go for it? Drive very fast. <laughs> yeah. I've been playing ETS2 for almost a year, and I've not even been to every country in ETS2. It's a, Europe's a big place, right? It's a big place. Yeah, okay. The chat says go to Dover. Let's do it then. 
Let's do it. We'll make our way. Let's see how we do time-wise, and we'll figure it out along the way. But for now, let's let's grab the job and let's do this. This should be a first. I'm excited for this. It should be good. It should be good. <laughs> I wish I knew about this game before my holiday in a rental car in Scotland. Oh, I bet that was a bit of a, a shock. A lot of people get quite scared that they're switching to the other side of the road. I, I understand it though. I was very nervous when I did it for the first time and I only did it for the first time last year when I went to Belgium. Um, yeah, it was, it was scary but once you follow the flow of traffic, you're, you're okay. It's not too bad at all. But yeah, the thing I was laughing at by the way during the job market thing, who was it? Uh, Dutchy underscore and L. Somebody mentioned about the sign that you see everywhere in Germany and in ETS2, which is, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, uh, the Aus Ausfahrt sign, which is like the exit, right? Uh, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, Peter. The yeah, Ausfahrt. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Dutchy underscore NL made a joke saying, Ausfahrt is the biggest city in Germany because there's signs for it everywhere. So <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's a good one. I like it. Yeah. Fair play. Hey, look, look at these trailers. <laughs> They're cool, right? Yeah. I like the colors of them. Yeah. They stand out. It's different. Good stuff. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Bit of color to the truck and trailer combo. Speaking of, what what color truck has everybody got, by the way, in chat? Do you stick to kind of like the standard, like, uh, stock colors? Maybe like a white truck or a black truck? Or does anybody here have some, like, bright and colorful trucks? Let's see if we can see if there's like a more popular colored truck. <laughs> Mark, black W900 with a red stripe. We know. We know, Mark. Uh, we got black, yellow. Yellow for my Western stars. Oh, yellow is coming in clutch. It's a bit of an underdog color here. Make my own skins. Blue and white. A custom skin I made for myself. Very cool. Very cool. Talented people in the chat. Got the Canadian skin DLC. Prefer purple. Purple's a good color. I, li I do like purple as well. You're running in a lime, yellow, and a red and white. It says a long journey on YouTube. Nice. We got, we got to get some nice paint job when we get the biggest cap. Yes, we do. We got to decide on that. And those are expensive as well, though. So. <laughs> yeah, like, I, don't, I never really paid attention to how much they were until... I think Nemiro went to go upgrade a job, I think it was, or oh, a paint job, and we looked at like the really nice ones, and they're like 50,000, 60,000, 70, like they're a lot yeah. of money. Yeah. Like, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, if you're money conscious, just. Kind of watch out for what colors you put on your truck. Some of them cost more than others. But then again, there's some good value paint jobs as well. That's for sure. That is for sure, yeah. So, all right. Well, eight hours. We might need some sleep at some point during this as well. I think. Yeah, probably. Because our driver's getting tired again. So, it's been quite a few hours. Yeah, but also cool to hear that quite a few of you are using custom skins as well on your truck. Which is always nice to see. I know that they take quite a bit of work to do if you if you make your own as well. So hey, fair play to you. Good, good job on, on getting those done. Exactly, yeah. A lot of people are asking, by the way, in the YouTube chat, I see quite a few. I know a lot of you are excited for future updates, especially with the mention of 1.50 and some of the things that are coming with it on our blog. Um, we will definitely let you know when that is going to be a thing uh, of course through our official social media. We'll, we won't keep quiet about it, chat. Trust me, we'll, we'll let you know. But for the time being, we're working hard behind the scenes. And uh, trust me, once we're, we're ready to have it go out to all of you, then we will have it ready and uh, we'll let you know about it. So follow us on the blog, uh, blog.scsoft.com, or on our social media. We will shout about it once we, we have, a, we have a, a solid date in mind. So. Do not panic. Do not worry. We're not hiding things from you. I promise. We're just we're working hard and making sure everything's going to be uh, ready for all of you. So, um, 
And of course, there as well, you can find news about all other things as well from ETS2 upcoming map, map expansions uh, like Greece and uh, others as well, as well as American Truck Simulator. So, lots to come in the future for sure. We're not, we're never not busy. We always got things to do. <laughs> It's always a busy day at SES Software. Um, no tickets so far? It's good, right? I didn't get a ticket yet. No tickets yet. Not that I've seen. I have been chatting away. He could have been hiding the ticket behind the green screen somehow. I don't know. Yeah, I, I was speeding a few times, but I, I guess I was lucky not to get a ticket. <laughs> mm hmm Apparently it's been jinxed now, so it's gonna it's gonna happen at some point on this journey, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have enough money. <laughs> hey guys, see, yeah, this is what I'm saying. He's 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 uh he's confident. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We got enough money, <laughs> and it is a good thing to keep busy. That is for sure. That is for sure. And we certainly are. Lots of things in the pipeline, and uh, up and coming throughout the year and beyond and beyond why isn't there a, a full line on the right on the right yeah great question um i don't know is it because there's an exit coming up maybe I'm not too sure no no it's everywhere but i think it's just in france so i guess it's uh, is a french thing maybe yeah yeah but still why <laughs> good question chat do we, do we know why? Why the hard shoulder here on the right? Is it because it can be used as a lane sometimes? I know we have that in the UK where in some cases where there's a lot of traffic you can use the emergency or hard shoulder emergency lane as a driving lane or sometimes it's like a dedicated road for the emergencies. Oh. So First ticket is here. Oh, is it to do with vehicle spacing? Oh, did you get a ticket? Yeah. No, oh, he did jinx it. <laughs> Who was it? Ban them. Ban them right now. I'm not ban it. <laughs> I think it's for measuring your distance with other vehicles. That's clever. Yeah, that so makes you know sense. How much space. Yeah. Because we, in the UK, they have like certain areas of a road or motorway that will have like arrows. Like, yeah, we have that too some, some, sometimes. It's like you get a, a road sign usually that says, hey, keep two or four arrows between you and the car in front for like you know a certain amount of time and like it's always a little bit weird I don't know if this is normal in other countries but like for that stretch of the road where they've painted the arrows everybody will keep their space but then as soon as those arrows are gone everyone just bunches back up again <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like okay <laughs> I I saw a video where I think it was in Hungary they have they have those lines where if you if you hey another ticket <laughs> if you if you, oh if you drive uh, on on the lines, they play a melody. If you like, if you yeah, if you drive, uh, yeah, in in the speed limit. Yeah, we actually have that. I hope it's still there. We actually do have that. I know in American Truck Simulator, we have a musical road. We have it in New Mexico. Um, I'm not sure if we have one in ETS2 as well. Not, I don't remember. I'm gonna be honest, but I know there's definitely one in the American Truck Simulator. That's for sure. In New Mexico. Yeah, money is draining fast now. I know. Went from sixty-nine thousand to sixty-seven thousand. <laughs> well, the, the the second ticket was expensive. Yeah. Mm. Um, Redbird says, if you see two brakes in the line between you and the vehicle in front of you, you have enough distance. There you go. Two breaks. Yeah. Okay. The new music Mexico musical road is broken in real life or in in game. I live in Albuquerque and I know exactly which road you're talking about. Hey, I heard they have the biggest ball of twine. No, that's not in Albuquerque. That's in Minnesota, right? Yeah. Never mind. That's a shame. <laughs> what else do they have in Albuquerque? I think Weird Al did a song about Albuquerque once. I think that's where I'm getting that from. Isn't Breaking Bad happening there? That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Look out for any suspicious, uh, like uh, camper vans or RVs, you know, sitting in the middle <laughs> of the desert. <laughs> yeah. 
The musical roads are originally from Japan to make people keep proper speed. It's it's a clever idea. I imagine it takes a lot of work to get right. I think I remember Tom Scott, who I miss his videos every Monday, by the way, if you ever watch him. Um, I think he did a video on the musical road and how it's technically not right or how they got it wrong or I don't, I don't remember. That was a good video about that. Now there's several different musical roads around around America. So yeah. Hey Dennis, welcome along. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you here. <laughs> Tom Scott? I thought you meant Tom Scar. No, no, no. Tom Scott. <laughs> If it's an option in the game, it's not cheating. Wait, what, how are we cheating? What's going on? You can stop the tickets Wait. by turning off the traffic. I mean, yeah, but we, we choose to try have the tickets on. Oh, almost made a, another fatal mistake here. We've done that before, I think. Uh oh. Yeah, I I thought Ooh. I would. Yeah, but the, the ones on the right are closed, so I can I can I can go there. Mm hmm. Rate my skin on Twitter, I added you guys. I will, I will take a look after the stream. I'll have a look at the Twitter. So, um, I'll definitely take a look. F feel free, by the way, to share your pictures and videos and all sorts on Twitter. We love to share them. I enjoy checking them out in the morning and uh, um, posting pictures and, and such like that as well. So, yeah, definitely share them with us. And not just on Twitter as well, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you'd like to. <laughs> I remember people who lives close to a musical route in the Netherlands. They complained about hearing the music. Yeah, I guess if you lived next to that section of road that was always making noise and people always went on it, it would get a little bit annoying. I will admit that. I will admit that. Hey, look, Naomi made 1400. Hey! Yeah. Nice. And Bob made the thousands. Mm. Nice. Good stuff, making the money. That's what we like to see. Yeah, they are like. already paid off for my two tickets. <laughs> yeah, they covered that at the very least. Yeah. You're back up to 69,000. You're good. <laughs> hey, Micah, how are we doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome along. If you just joined us, by the way, welcome to episode 16 um, of our ETS2 Let's Play series. We're currently in France. We started in Toulouse, and now we're actually heading up uh, to Dover in the UK. We're going to be crossing the puddle, is what as I like to call it. Um, we're crossing the, <laughs> the channel there over to the UK to deliver to Dover, which is, I think, a first here on the Let's Play. So, um, yeah, making our way all the way up to Northern Europe and then into uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, Redbird says, Tom Scott's video is about a specific musical road in California which is built incorrectly. The distance between the grooves is supposed to be measured from the center line to the center line, but as built, the grooves are spaced out from the edge of one groove to the nearest edge of the next one. I got you. I do remember watching that. I do remember watching it. It was very interesting. It, a lot of it went over my head because I'm just not that smart, but I got it. It was, it was good. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was good. It was a good video, but thank you for reminding me on that one. Um, has anybody got 100% on achievements? Uh, Dave is asking. 100%? Any, any any achievement hunters in the chat? Has anybody got every single achievement possible so far? Either in ETS2 or ATS. I know people do map exploration 100%. And then we always get a bunch of kind of like people being a bit... I really like that we have a new DLC, but uh, I've got no longer my map exploration at 100%. <laughs> so... 48% from Akshay in our YouTube chat. Mark Verstappen said he's working on them. He's got nine to go. KW4 Life says I'm 100% in both games. Wow. Impressive. Congrats. Air Crew says almost half of them. Race Boy says I'm an achievement hunter, but I do not have all of them. Uh, Sammy and Red Wine saying they both have 100%. That's, that's great. That is awesome. And then we have some people saying that they're not achievement hunters either. I'm not much of an achievement hunter. Sometimes I just get achievements by surprise. I'm like, oh, how did I 
do that? that that's a thing? Okay, yeah, I got I got the achievement. <laughs> what about you, Peter? Are you much of an achievement hunter in games? No, I, I'm the same as you. <laughs> Simple, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just by, enjoy by, the game as it is. Yeah, by the way, Naomi made uh, 1,400, so... 1,400? Yeah, yeah. Impressive, impressive. like it. I've explored almost 100% of Texas. I think that's an achievement in itself. Texas is a big place. That's going to take a long time to do. Uh, I got all the ATS ones, but it'll be a while before I can get all the ETS2 ones. Especially a garage in every city. That's true. That's, that's difficult. 100% in both games and 100% map exploration as well in both games, says Redbird. That is... Seriously impressive. That is, that is cool stuff. I get them by accident and I don't pay attention to them. Fair enough. I mean, each their own. This is the thing, right? Everybody plays the game differently. Everyone enjoys it in a different way. So, um, yeah, whether you just enjoy just the simple life of driving and delivering loads or doing achievement hunting or just customizing your trucks or trying to actually play the game like we are doing right now, where you're trying to build up a company, then, you know, ain't, ain't no shame in it. Even if you're doing convoys together, you know, the multiplayer, then uh, it's all good. And of course, we've got that new element as well of kind of collecting different viewpoints and landmarks as well, which is always cool. I've always enjoyed the landmark aspect of the game, kind of exploring the cities. Speaking of, Paris, Paris, uh, Paris even, we are in Paris. Doesn't look like Actually, it. one city I've not been to. I've never been to Paris before. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. I've heard I've heard mixed things about it, but I think that's, that goes without saying for any major city. There's always going to be ups and downs of each city. I, I, you know, same with London. You know, I lived in London for most of my life, and there's definitely ups and downs in, in that city as well. So, yes, I'm going to confirm that in the chat, by the way. Disgruntled Truck Driver is a member of the SCS software team. It's Mark. Um, so, if you have any doubts about that, that is verification. Paris was my original starting city in ETS2 almost nine years ago. Do you still have a garage there, Real Vic, that you kind of operate from? Whoa, Peter, whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, that wasn't my fault, <laughs> was it? <laughs> I mean, you're coming a little bit quick. A little bit quick. Yeah, uh, well, a little, little bit, but still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nothing happened, so. Low shave. Yeah, it was a close shave. Yes, I still do. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. All moderators here are SES employees, I believe. Yes, that is correct. Uh, all the moderators you see are usually the SES employees. Uh, Alex, do you use mods? I do have... I have a profile for that's like clean, kind of just like the base kind of profile. Um, <laughs> and then I do have one for mods as well, because uh, I'd love to check out what the community's been creating and working on, so I do have those as well. Except Benny, he's more like an SES mascot. Ah, oh, poor Benny. No, no, S Benny's as much as you know part of the team as anybody else. He's he's running the stream, so he's part of it. He's part of it. And now Mark's been banned. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm guessing Benny is behind the account at the moment. <laughs> One of my mods has been crashing my game. See, that's that's something that does happen, of course, when you're using mods. Just a reminder for everybody. If there's like a new version of the game, or there's been an update, or even with uh, when there's been a new um, map DLC that's been released, just be aware of your mods. That's why it's kind of good to have a separate profile for mods because um, they can conflict in some ways that you could never imagine. You know, you might download a mod, let's say for um, you know traffic lights, for example. I'm not saying there is one, but just you know different traffic lights, and then it might affect. The trees somehow there's you know there's some interesting things that can happen so if you're having any issues and you use mods first kind of rule of thumb to kind of see where the issue might be with why your game might not be working properly or something like this is just check your mods you know sometimes they get outdated sometimes they're unfortunately not updated or supported anymore uh, either by the, the creator or by the game because of a version update um, definitely uh, check your mods first and then see where you go from there. So, um, yeah. 
There's a little bit of advice for you. I have over 2.5 thousand hours in when he started in this game. Way back in 2009, SES has come a long way. Covered all the roads. Started updating oh. the maps now. Go everywhere. Still love this game. Wow. So you've been playing our game since 2009. So that would be like the original kind of tracking titles before your Track Simulator 2 was a thing. <laughs> Some of the, uh, the uh, older titles that we have. That's impressive. That's from Born Diagram in the YouTube chat. It is more than so 100 hour, uh, days played, right? Yeah. Thank you for being such a supporter for so, such a long time. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. <laughs> to be nostalgic, I bought the original one on Steam. <laughs> the original Your Chuck Simulator. Yes. But um, it's, it's amazing to see how far we've come since those days. It's, it really is. You know, you don't have to look too far back to see all the different changes. And um, I believe we have a video online of, you know, you can see the original trailer still. It's such a kind of nostalgic thing to watch. If you go back, I, I recommend watching it at some point on our YouTube channel. The original Your Truck Simulator 2 trailer. And then compare it to our most recent trailer that we have on Steam or on our YouTube channel as well. And uh, yeah. It's impressive. It's, it's incredible to see how time flies. It really does. <laughs> and Peter, what is your favorite truck brand? Look how Impossible is asking. Do you have a favorite truck brand, Peter? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I never thought about it. <laughs> but uh, when I first started playing uh, in like 2013, I think it was maybe 2013, 2012, I think. I, I bought the uh, Volvo and uh, then I made an upgrade to, to this man that we are using right now in the game. It's the newest one, right? So, yes. so yeah, I, 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 like, I like this one, especially because of the <clears throat> digital mirrors. Yeah, mm. even though we yeah. don't have them here yet, but I'm looking forward to buying them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool do yeah, like because, the technology yeah because what's cool that about the digital mirrors you can adjust your your view that you don't have to look around to see both of them like that you know mm. you just oh, see gotcha. yeah you can just see both of them without without turning mm. around so, so yeah that's cool it is it's very clever tech you know and um I actually got to experience seeing digital mirrors for the first time when I went to go visit F Trucks in, in the UK uh, with their digital vision system. That's what they call it on the new generation of DAF. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually have a cab ride uh, in, their, in their DAF truck. And uh, yeah, it's super impressive. It's super cool. And um, you can tell they've put a lot of thought into the things like, you know, if there's rain, weather, uh, the cold weather, you know, you don't want the cameras to fog up. Um, but especially what's impressive is uh, at night because the cameras are almost seeing better in the night than a human eye would you know because it actually makes it brighter in terms of its exposure and uh, almost like acts as almost like a sort of night vision uh, and of course as well it makes for good security for drivers who are on the road who are um, sleeping in their cabs they have you know the digital mirrors on the inside of the cab um, on either side of the windscreen there so they can actually kind of see what's happening outside their vehicle so they can feel a little bit more safe, you know, make sure no one's kind of snooping around or have bad intentions or just to kind of check on the, the general area of their truck, then um, that's there as well. So there's a, it's a really cool little technology and it's, it's cool to see it being implemented in, in quite a few different areas uh, these days in the trucking industry. So, um, yeah, it's good how, stuff. How does it look like at, at night? Like... In the mirror, mirrors, yeah. are are the cars highlighted or something? Um, I didn't see it for myself, but uh, I think I think that could be a possibility. I mean, if it if, if it isn't already, then I can see it happening in the future. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, like you can see a lot better on the road. Like it, it's just much clearer because, um, you know, it just bumps up the exposure and uses special kind of night vision technology and you can just see all around on the roads a lot better so you can see those cars a lot more clearly at night versus a traditional mirror where you might have the headlights shining into the uh 
into the mirror and kind of blinding you a little bit. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm sure in the future with how AI technology is going and um, stuff like that as well, we're going to see some pretty crazy advancements in the future. That I'm sure one day will be implemented into into our vehicles. So yeah. it's, I think it's quite early days technology-wise. We've still got a long way to go of course, to well, make things the, safe. The technology that's that's on some of these trucks is amazing already so yeah yeah exactly i mean i always had it in my mind watching from the old kind of american movies that driving a truck is super complicated and don't get me wrong it's a hard job there's a lot of skill and work involved when it comes to actually driving and maneuvering the truck but um i did have the opportunity to, to you know maneuver a little bit in, in one of the new daft trucks a while ago and uh i found it quite surprising that it is um, well, in that particular truck, anyway, quite simple when it comes to actually driving it. It's almost like my automatic car, you know. It's just, you know, driverless key. There's a brake. There's an accelerator, and it's you know automatic, and you just kind of drive away, sort of thing. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, Bob made eighteen hundred dollars or euros, and he has leveled up. Bob, get in it. Yeah, let's yeah. go, Bob. They are making a lot of money this time. Yeah, I'm proud of them. I, I think both. As far as both, I both the, um, oh, go ahead. <laughs> I I just I just think that both both of them just made like maybe two or three deliveries or already this, mm. during this let's play. Yeah, which is not doing always good. the I case. <laughs> we're like uh, bumping up our skill levels for them, and they're doing more jobs. They're getting better at their job as well, so they're definitely uh, they're getting onto it, which is good. Yeah. Bob making six figures, crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's good to it's good to see. It's good to see that they're making us some money, and we're going to make ourselves some money here. So we've got seventy three thousand in the bank now. So we've actually you know gotten that money while we're on the road here, and uh, I don't believe we're too far away now from the port, right? We've just uh, yeah, just two hours. hours. So I so guess I can actually see the port on your on your map right now and that's the edge of the channel tunnel there so we shouldn't be too far away from yeah, yeah. my destination should be close should be close yeah <laughs> yeah I, I know with the American trucks you have to have both the digital and physical mirrors currently but I'm sure there'll be changes in the future as well with that so but I've seen it in the UK. I actually live not too far away from a truck stop. You, I'm seeing more and more newer trucks on the road with, with digital mirrors. So, and in the US, like you have to have both. You have to have both, I believe. Still, yeah, I think that's still the uh, the current rules mm -hmm. of the road, which is nice. All right, this is a. a car that I haven't been to in a while. I think I'm even guilty of this myself. I haven't driven to the UK for a while in your truck simulator too. I kind of tend to hang around the newer areas myself because I've still got quite a bit of exploring to do. But um, yeah, it's good to be back up in, in Calais, getting up to the ferry and stuff, which is always nice. Yeah. So I think I haven't been here for like 10 or 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> that long? Yeah. Wow. Anybody in the chat that's driving in the UK right now in terms of deliveries in Euro Truck Simulator 2? I know some people aren't as big as a fan of driving on the left for some reason, so some people don't like to go to the UK. Maybe, you know, or such like that, but uh, I understand. See, here we go, like, Looney doesn't like driving on the left here. The channel saying, can't wait to get back to headquarters in Glasgow. Very nice yourself an iron brew while you're there as well. Classic. Alright. Oh wait, so we are taking the train? We are taking the train. Never mind, I thought we were taking the ferry for some reason. We are taking the train. <laughs> Me who has every garage and recruitment agency in England. I've explored a bit. <laughs> I gotcha. All right, and on the train. There we go. It's always impressive when you actually, if, if you've ever been to the Channel Tunnel, it's always seeing how they're loading up the vehicles and actually driving onto the, the train itself. It's pretty cool. 
How does it work? Uh, it must be. Sorry. How does it work? Just like that, they just open up the carriage there and they drive through the ah. trucks, you know, and they they sit in their cabs the entire time the train is moving. For this is just for the trucks, that kind of cargo kind of look there. But the train you see on the right hand side, that is the one for like more like buses and cars, like for families and stuff. So you actually like drive inside of that. So you see those big doors on the right of the actual carriages there. They open up, or they have a whole carriage that kind of opens up and you drive into it. And you drive all the way through and you put your car in park and then usually in there there's like a, a toilet or bathroom and but other than that you can walk around a little bit but um you can just sit in your car for the most part and then you just drive off of them just just like this the journey's only about 30 minutes mm -hmm. when you're actually on the train isn't it's pretty fast and you're not on the train for that long but um yeah Oh, Alex Trucker Dylan had to leave his truck and go into a carriage. Oh, maybe they do it that way now. Maybe it's always been that way. Maybe I've always just assumed they sit in their trucks, but that would also make sense. If they actually get out of their trucks and then go into a, a dedicated driver's carriage. Ah, uh, okay. I was wrong. I apologize. For the trucks, the train has a passenger car where the drivers will ride the train. That makes sense. Probably is a little bit more safe when you think about it. I apologize. <laughs> I always assume that they just sit in their truck cabs. <laughs> It's just not even. It's just kind of sitting in there. But that makes sense. But uh, but yeah, kind of similar for the other vehicles. Then I think the longest part of the journey actually going across is is um, actually getting on them and loading and being there a couple of hours early to make sure you're ready to go. So all right, well, welcome to the UK, everybody. Place we've not ventured to really before on stream. I don't think. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's it's nice. Nice to be home a little bit stuff and is it feeling weird driving on the left yeah how does it feel being <laughs> it does oh my goodness chat he's going the wrong way what's he doing am i mad man oh my goodness no you're not you're, you're fine <laughs> don't, 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 don't me if I, if, I, if I would be on the wrong side please and of course in the uk as well the um the speed limit is in miles per hour as well but of course your gps helps you out on that as well to, to update it in kilometers an hour for you it's like driving in a mirror uh now Peter is driving on the correct side of the road. I agree, Phil. It's the far superior side is the left. There we go. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, not too far away from our delivery here. And then probably after that, we will have to wrap things up because time has, has quickly disappeared. Yeah. But, yeah, we'll see Sadly. where this takes us. At least Alex admits he's biased. I mean, yeah. <laughs> UK is my home. Of course, I'm going to be biased. So I mean, that's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Oh, what do you scary like? Scary. I mean, left. <laughs> What's that? What, what do you like the most about UK, Alex? What I like most about the UK? Yeah. <laughs> um. Probably. Much like Europe, though, with the history, I guess. Um how old some parts of the UK are uh, in terms of their history, like lots of very old places. Um, obviously the UK has had a, a bigger impact on the world for good and bad, unfortunately, but that's just how the past is with some countries. Um, but uh, also it is nice and green as well. I do like how green the UK is. There's some beautiful areas. Unfortunately, the, the beaches aren't as nice as some other countries. But yeah, yeah, that's a good question. What I love it, but the history—I'd I'd probably say the history. There's a lot of history that we have in the UK. So, um, and, and yeah. the, the the sea is cold, right? The sea is very cold. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't really recommend swimming in it unless you're in Cornwall, which is like all the way down the the bottom left of the UK, and it's quite kind of closer to to the other side of the sea where it's a bit warmer. So, mm -hmm. but otherwise, yeah, beaches are cold and most of them don't have sand they have like stones instead of sand so yeah but did you just get another f yeah ah. yeah yeah there, there were <laughs> there's an in insane speed limit just 48 per hour yep 48 kilometers yep <laughs> but, but but i actually like uh rocks more than sand on beaches because i don't like i don't like how the how the sand gets in between your toes I get that, but the trade-off is that you can lay down and be comfortable on the sand, and the yeah. sand gets warm as well. 
Whereas the rocks just are uncomfortable to walk on. They yeah, get yeah, wet yeah. and slippery, so you could slip over. And they can also get very warm as well, and they could burn you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You know, like, yeah. But still, sand, sand just gets everywhere, and I hate it. <laughs> It does get everywhere. You can once you've been to the beach, you just find it everywhere for the next few weeks. Yeah, exactly. In your car, in your shoes, in your socks. It's just it's everywhere. It is everywhere. Ooh, the left hand side roundabout. Here we go. Ooh, <laughs> it's crazy. Almost when you leave there. London, thirty back to fifteen in a matter of seconds. I mean, it's true that there's some areas of London where the speed limit changes quite a lot. So. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> the ocean side is nice and warm. It is. It is definitely. <laughs> By the way, chat, has anybody been to the UK before? Unless you're from the UK, of course. That doesn't really count, but anybody not from the UK visited the UK before? And if so, where did you go? I'd like to know while we're here. Never left the UK, I know. I'm Dutch, I've never been. That has been a few times. I want to visit London. My advice to you, right? If you are coming for a few days, then yeah, maybe London is the place to go. But if you're coming for a little bit longer, just remember there's more to the UK than just London. There is, and I'm from London, right? I, I think London's great. But there's so many other beautiful places uh, around the UK. Um, and that includes other countries like Wales and Scotland and Ireland. So, um, yeah, definitely don't forget about those places, for sure. Um, those are very beautiful, especially Wales and, and Scotland and Ireland. Beautiful. So, yes, Wembley. I was in London many years ago. Okay, okay. I want to visit. I've been to the UK twice on vacation and once with school. Newcastle with school. Both times on vacation. So it's happened. Newcastle seems like a bit of a random location for a school trip. <laughs> Edinburgh is quite lovely. Yeah, you might be familiar with Edinburgh without realizing it. It's um one of the main cities in one of the Forza games, right? Edinburgh. Is it? I believe so. Is it Forza? Am I thinking of the right game? I don't know. I only played <laughs> one, one Forza game, so yeah, Not really. Uh, Forza Forza Horizon Four is is the one with Edinburgh in it. It's really nice. Yeah. All right, well, conversation for another day. We're going to get parked up here and uh, arrived at another farm. These cows yeah. have officially gone international. Check this out. French cows in the UK. Maybe they're going to enjoy it here. Maybe the weather's not as nice, but uh, hopefully they enjoy their stay. Yeah, but the because grass that, is green enough, so... <laughs> the grass is probably a lot greener because of the amount of rain that we get, so I, yeah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree for sure for sure boom nice and tidy there Peter looking good thank you good stuff right let's see how we did progress wise excellent job there got some good cash 24,000 and a bit more XP oh. in the bank ooh well, That's next job should be should take us to level eleven. Yeah, so just a few more jobs then till we get to our, our level twelve. Yeah, so definitely in the future we'll uh, we'll get to that. All right. Well, that was the final delivery of the evening. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. Um, but um, yeah, let's double check on our drivers here, making some good money. Bob done some good jobs. Good job, Bob. Let's get some GGs into Bob. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Look, that. he made Four grand, almost one thousand, almost seven thousand today. Just today. You know, what? I used to make fun of Bob, but he's turning out all right. He's yeah, turning out okay. Yeah, he did better than Naomi. Look at that. I think I Naomi mean, still also meant a lot, though. Yeah, I think consistent. These, these last four are from today. Yeah. They're consistent, that's for sure. That is for sure. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Appreciate it. Ended up in the UK. We were at the bottom of France and now we're in the UK. That's crazy. Some good progress there made by Peter. Peter, thank you for your time, for your driving, your expertise. 
And, Thank uh, you too. Yeah, look forward, to, look forward to the next one. Um, we'll definitely announce when the next one is going to be in the future. Um, don't forget to check out our blog for all the latest news chat. Um, and also follow us on social media for our next stream announcements. There should be another one very, very soon on the horizon. So uh, we won't be gone for too long. But um, I'm going to be away for a little bit until next week. So uh, if I don't see you or hear from all of you, then I hope you will have a wonderful Easter and, and stuff like that and a good week if um, you do celebrate that. But uh, I'm sure the others will definitely look after you for a while. But yeah. Appreciate you all. And of course, a massive thank you to our guys behind the scenes. I believe we have Mark and Benny there who are running the show today. So thank you, Mark and Benny. We appreciate you. <laughs> Hope you have a good evening as well. And of course, in Twitch tradition, if you're joining us on our Twitch channel, we're going to find somebody to raid. Uh, I'm not sure, Mark, if you were looking for anybody. If not, I think I have somebody uh, in mind we could, could raid. Um, so uh you have not okay let's let's raid someone there we're gonna we're gonna raid i char who's currently doing some your truck simulator too as well at the moment uh on twitch so let's go give them lots of love um let's give them a big follow and love and everything from scs software so uh if you can join us there that would be great we will see you over there but otherwise have yourselves a wonderful rest of your week and we'll see you all again very 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 soon Take care, everybody, and goodbye for now. Bye. Bye.